What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nuggles YouTube channel. Today is Fan Friday. Today's winner was Stoutland Esselgor. Now, funny enough, like almost a year ago, I, we played Stoutland Esselgor. Uh, hold on, let me, let me pull up the video real quick. Uh, let me back up a little bit. Sorry, I was watching stuff on YouTube. Uh, but we played this almost a year ago. We're almost there. Yeah, on October 2nd, 2015, the winner was Stoutland Esselgor Dust Nor Valfoon for Fan Friday 33. So almost a year, a little bit, a little bit over a year, we uh we're back at it again with Stoutland Esselgor. It is it is a little updated. It's a different list. Uh, the list that won last time was a fan suggestion one. So that one was the like I said, it was uh Stoutland Esselgor Dust Nor Valfoon. This one is just Stoutland Esselgor uh, Marsharna. Which I do like a little better. Uh, but let's go over. I mean, the other one played so many Pokemon. This only plays 23. Well, still 23 is a lot. But let me stop right now. Let's go right now. It's just crazy that it's been a year. Over a year since we've seen this deck. Alright, but let's go over. Uh, so, Satland, uh, Sent Sentinel uh, ability. As long as Pokemon is your act Pokemon, your opponent can't play any supporter cards from their hand. So, they can't play Lysander. They can't play... Uh, Juniper, Sycamore, AZ, Cassius, Chorus, and Ace Trainer. All those cards, they cannot play it because Sentinel just shuts it down, which is amazing. And your opponent can't even hex Maniac of Stat Statland because they can't play supporter cards. I would play a 424 Statland to try to get out ASAP. Now we play a Cell War with Duck and Cover 50. The Defending Pokemon is now paralyzed and poisoned. Uh, shove those cards and all cards attached to it into your deck. Now, <clears throat> this is great because now your opponent. I mean, they can't, you know, they can't attack you. They have to either play Keldeo to rush and retreat, maybe play Switch, something like that. Um, but, I mean, not playing supporter cards, it does shut down your opponent so much. I mean, we noticed we have three Junior for four and two Lysander and two cores. And uh, the good thing about this is with, uh, with Stellan, our bench Pokemon are safe. They're good to go. They are protected pretty much forever, which is really cool. Uh, one Shaman, one Jirachi, a little split. Just in case you want to play any supporter card, you need Jirachi. If you need Drama card, Shaman's there as well. We play three Mew, and this is how we're really going to attack. We're going to use uh, the Versatile to this Pokemon can use the attacks of any Pokemon to play, both yours and your opponents. We're going to Versatile for Deck and Cover to keep Esselgore out of the field forever, because like I said, they can't light Super Esselgore, they can't take a knockout, it's pretty much stuck there, which is amazing. Like, even if they play like a Keldeo with a Flowstone or whatever, or a Switch or Escape Rope, they can't light it up your Esselgore. So if it's stuck, that's amazing. And Stalin does have 140 HP, so it is kind of hard to knock it out. Alright, so 1-1 one, one Rashardo. Now, the Muna has a long distance hypnosis. Once during a turn before you attack, you may flip a coin of heads. Your opponent's act Pokemon is now asleep. If tells your act Pokemon is now, uh, your act Pokemon is now asleep. So, basically, which way it lands, you could be asleep, your opponent could be asleep. But that's not what we're using. We're actually using Musharna with the full warrant once during a turn before you attack. You may look at the top two cards of your deck. Choose one of them and put it into your hand. Put the other card back on top of your deck. Just to help us try to, like, keep cycling our DCEs. Because once you're low deck size, you keep, like, full warrant, look at top two, grab the DC, whatever you want and uh be good to go that way all right so that's all the pokemon we're playing here um you could maybe cut the acelgore line if you want to maybe a mew i think three mew is fine though so i think we're gonna keep that so one computer search for consistency reasons you could play dallas machine if you want to instead to use any card on your discard file but i think early game computer search is where it's at uh two low ball to search pokemon with nine hp or less which can get you lillipup get you herder uh shelmet a Selgor, jirachi Masharna, no muna uh not Masharna. Masharna has 100 hp so it gets you one two three four five six pokemon which is why we play two love ball three rare candy try to get that turn to sell an asap one special charge which is great in this deck you shuffle two special energy cards from your discard file back into your deck uh so that way if you do discard two so your DCs, unfortunately uh you can just put them back in your deck which is nice one super rush level three pokemon back in your deck you could play sacred ash um but for the most part you're not you're not i mean i, I don't know it's up to you i don't like sacred ash because you shuffle on too many cards but i mean all these cards are pretty much useful so you could go for sacred ash if you want to instead it's just up to you sacred ash super rod uh four ultra ball for you know getting pokemon out uh, four VS secret to use any support any supporter card, two cores, two license, a four in and three juniper. Now we are playing heavy in because you know it takes a while to take a knockout. And we really don't want to discard too many cards, which is why I'm playing three juniper instead of 
three in. Like usually the bowls, the rolls are reversed, but we need to try to keep as many resources as we can. Course is going to be your MVP in our game, and you're going to see that for sure because we're always going to have our bench full of five Pokemon. Now we play three Verbix to the gym. Put two more damage guards on place Pokemon between turns. So you do uh, 80, come back and do 110, and then you can knock Pokemon out pretty quickly with Verbix to the gym. And I think this is the better option to do because the quicker you knock them out, the less cards they're going to draw into, and you can take uh, quicker knockouts that way. I think that's the better thing to do for this deck, especially as you point out can't play supporter cards. So the quicker you take out knockouts, the less they're like, likely to attack you because they can't get set up because they can't play supporter cards because of Stoutland. All right, so three Flowstone to give your Stoutland free retreat. And you don't have to worry about your bench Pokemon. Like I said, multiple times, your opponent can now play Lysander, so they can't bring any Pokemon to the bench, which is great. And for DC, and yes, I know if, they, if we get paired against Aegis Slash, we lose the game because we can't hit it. Blah, blah, blah. I know, guys. But uh, besides that, of that, we're looking good. Can we win a game or not with these Stoutland and Subgore deck? That's the big question. And uh, let's see what happens, guys. But hopefully, enjoy this video. Hopefully, enjoy this episode of Fan Friday. And let's see the deck in action. All right, pretty good. Noah JF playing a Psychic Steel and a Colors deck. Let's see. Let's see. What's going to happen? Can Stalin take a win or not? That is the question, guys. So the card of the quick flip. Uh, heads and yes. Oh, wait, no. Why did I say yes? We lost a quick flip squeaky. Come on now. All right, so our, wait, we're going to go first. What? Okay, all right. I'll let him calm down, opponent. All right, so, oh, man. I guess we'll start Mew. Uh, put down the Shelmet, it'll we'll play in, uh, we'll probably put a, do we put down Floatstone? Like, he can Toe Scrapper, get rid of it, but if we deck and cover, it goes back into our deck, alright, so press done, alright, so it looks like our opponent is selecting their starter Pokemon, and let's see what is going to happen, what does Noah JF have for us, guys, so two Pokemon come in the field, is it a Night March deck? It's really bad. Alright, so here we go, guys. There is a Mew, Scizor, and a Gar and a Bronze. Alright, so put a Flowstone on the active, and we'll play it in. Both gives a new hand of sex. And let's see, what can we find with this? Alright, so double, uh, double Lillipup. Horus. Alright, so put down Lillipup. Lillipup, and we will just pass on to our opponent's turn. We could put down DC, but I don't want to put a play in hand stammer. Like, I'm, I'm okay with him playing, like, an, uh, like, Toll Scrapper right now, I really don't want to play Enhanced Hammer. That seems a little bad. Uh, so we see a Genesect coming out. So it's a Genesect Scizor deck. Uh, maybe Mega Scizor as well. Um, but as long as... Okay, so... Oh, my goodness. My opponent's feeling their bench up, which is great for us. Uh, fighting for going out to the Mew to give it... Uh, we still just knock it out with the uh, deck and cover for Mew. Because we do 100 damage because of weakness. So Fresh Letter. Gonna search for Double Steel. Okay. Alright, and uh, let's see what else will my opponent do. Ultra Ball, going to discard two cards from the hand. Most likely, I'm going to get a Shaman out. Now, the bad thing about this deck is once my opponent has energies in the discard pile, they really don't need, like, supporter cards anymore. They just need to Metal Links, get their Bronzers out. They're pretty much okay. So, Shaman, go and come down. Set up four new cards, okay? Alright, so our turn, we need to right, go to Colors right now and get eight cards, which is pretty good. We have a DC, a Shelmet, maybe get a Selgor, take a Knockout, Rare Candy, Stoutland. We'll be good to go, guys, but can we get that or not is my question. So, Metal G going to the active, and we might see an encounter. I mean, he could go for Iron Defense. No, Steel Wing for uh, 60 damage. What is this? Okay. Alright, so we get a, a Selgor, so put that down. Okay, what's to say? Any during your opponent's next turn, any damage done to you this Pokemon by taxes reduced by twenty, atrophy, weakness, and resistance. So we do a hundred minus twenty eighty plus the poison, which is a knockout. So DC the active play course. Gonna get eight cards. Can we find a rare candy? And no, we don't have one. So put down Muna. I uh, put down Herder. Um. Yeah, we'll just, I guess we'll just go for the deck and cover. Sit in the, we'll put another little clip down. And yeah, we'll just go for the deck and cover for the knockout. That's a good thing. We're taking a knockout this turn. Uh, 80 damage, poison, whatever. <clears throat> and we'll sit in the lily pup. Um, if it gets knocked out, so what? If it doesn't get knocked out, um, well, we can uh, be somewhat in trouble. So Fiesta, you're going to our hand, okay? All right, so who does my opponent send up? I mean, they can, like, they could maybe take a knockout this turn. But as long as they don't Lysander, like, if they, as long as they don't Lysander or a or a Herder, we're going to be okay. We just got to find a Mew. All right, so here comes Genesect. On to my opponent's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. Now, if this was the other Genesect, we'd actually be, be in trouble. So, Bronzong coming down. Okay, with Metal Links. Uh, Love Ball. I guess they can Gale Thrust for the knockout this turn. Love Ball for a, another Bronzong. Okay. All right, so double Bronzong. hit the field. All right. Now the thing about Scizor is he's re both these metal Pokemon are weak or resistant to Psychic, which our main attacker is Psychic. Unfortunately, 
Uh, but he could double Metalinks, Flowstone Retreat, and Gelthrust for the knock on our Lilypup, which is great because we can promote Stoutland, put a Flowstone, and play it in to give us both a new hand of six. So Metalinks, gonna put a Metal Energy in the uh, Scizor. And how many Metal... So three Metal Energies are in the discard piles of right now. So there's one going to that guy. I imagine we'll see another one going to this guy as well. I guess one card I'm scared of is Bronzong Break. Um, well, no. I mean, yeah, I guess Bronzong Break could be really scary. Like, one starter or Cell on the bench, maybe, if they wanted to do that. So let's see another Metalinks going down to that Scizor, okay? No, down to Shaman, okay? All right, that's fine. I guess they must have a Metal Energy in their hand. And I guess what they're planning to do is eventually Sky Return to draw more cards if needed. That could be really good. Um... Okay, so does my opponent have a floatstone? There's a battle quest. They're going to start three cards out of their deck. And I mean maybe some metal energy so that we can metal links later. I guess the real question is, does my opponent know what Stoutland do? Like they see Lilypup, they see Herdier, uh they do, but do they know what Stoutland does? That's the real question. I right, so compress they're gonna discard three cards out of their deck. Um maybe some metal energy, so maybe a support a card. They haven't played one yet, so we did play a course last turn. We do play Yeah, course last turn, okay. Alright, I mean, next we get Via Seeker for a Colors get a ton of cards. So there's Sycamore and two Metal Energies being discarded, which tells me they have a Via Seeker in their hand for a Sycamore. Because uh, why else would you be playing that? Like, I, I mean, there's no other reason why you'd be doing that. Alright, so show me Via Seeker for Sycamore, and that's going to be okay. Bronze are coming down. So the kids have three. Okay, no, just pass on to our turn. Alright, so there's a Verbic City Gem. Um, we'll put down Stoutland. Um. I'm gonna go for long distance hypnosis, try to put the genocide to sleep. Heads, alright, so the genocide goes to sleep. And we're gonna be a secret for a, a course. We're gonna get a ton of cards on our hand. I don't wanna put down a flowstone just yet because our opponent can, uh, you know, toast scrapper and Zerosic off the off the field. Alright, there's a Mew. Rare candy. Oh my goodness, guys. Rare candy. Stoutland. Oh my goodness. That's a great. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. Flowstone. Uh, Mew. DCE. Retreat and deck and cover for 30 damage. Uh, we do. I mean, I guess if I would have known that, <laughs> if I would have known we were going to uh draw to that, I would have put down the Verbic City Gem. So instead of Stoutland, and there we go, guys. So we are good to go. My opponent kind of just dead. Like they, they didn't dead draw. They had Shame and they had Bronze Orgs and everything like that. And uh, now can we keep the combo? Oh man, we're gonna play in. Give my opponent a new hand of six. That's the only downside right now. Uh, but whatever, we have to do this. Uh, my opponent can't play Lysander now. They can't play Zerostig. And Stoutland is taking names right now. He is slowly going to help us knock out this Genesect PX. So, Metalinx. This is the only downside, like I said. Metalinx on the Scizor. And does our opponent play Switch? Um, so, Metalinx on that guy. Another Metalinx as well. Maybe going Bronzor. Uh, no, on Shaman. Okay, that's a good thing to do. And we'll probably most likely see a pass. Like, I imagine that's what we'll see. And the Genesect will get unparalyzed. Uh, now, <sighs> there's a Via Seeker for a Juniper. My point, my point is supposed to realize what's happening. Like, they just Sycamore. They cannot play Sycamore, though. All right, so pass. O2 our turn. All right. So, let's see what's going to happen. O2 our turn. We get a Shaman. All right, so we're going to play in. Give us a new hand of six. I kind of wish my opponent would take a knockout. Because right now, we only have one space from Mew. But, man, as long as we keep hitting this, we're going to be golden. All right, so put down Mew. Put down DCE, retreat, go for another dunk cover for 30. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Like that, what, what just happened there? Uh, dunk cover for 30, all right, set up Stalin again. Go, go Stalin, get him, buddy. All right, so poison uh, hitting that 10 damage. And we can, we can dunk cover next, no, we can't. Um, If we find a Verbic City Gym, you can do six. The back does a knockout. So Love Ball, gonna set check for another bronze on most likely. But we can be a secret for colors, get nine cards, which is great. Uh as long as we hit a Mew and a DC, just keep the combo up and up. Uh bronze on coming down, okay. My opponent might be able to knock out one style, and there's a middle go to the active. We don't care about that really. Uh the question is, does my opponent have a fighting fear belt right now? Uh fighting fear belt for the next turn. Alright, so the metal engine the active, okay. And we'll most likely probably see a pass. Now, good thing about Gelthros, it does not knock us out. It does 100 damage. Uh, Sky Return does knock us out. So we're looking okay. So on our turn, what do we get? We get a Super Rod. So we're going to Via Seeker or a Chorus. We're going to get nine new cards. Let's see what can we find with this Chorus. Come on, Mew. Come on, DCE. Let's keep it going. Marsharna even. And uh, nope. That's a hard no. That's a real bad no. All right. So what we can do is... We could try to long distance hypnosis. Um, I'm actually gonna put down Shaman. DC. 
retreat and go for sky return for 40 damage okay uh yeah we'll sky return for 40 i think it's i think it's a better play uh because what we can do next turn is potentially take a knockout with shaman so 10 damage poison but if opponent has a, a metal energy they can retreat uh but we can just license in to bring this guy up and take a knockout for sure uh which is great okay we're actually fine with this play there's a metal energy active like i said they can retreat into the, the scissor but we can license to bring it up take a knock on it so here comes scissor we'll see a gel us for 110 damage okay all right, so let's see what does okay. Metal Inks gonna put metal energy on the Genesect, but we are taking knock on the Genesect for sure this turn. Uh, some metal energy in the Genesect, okay. And let's see what else. Okay, another metal Inks. Oh, to the Genesect, but like I said, we are going to take a knock on this turn no matter what. So, metal energy in that guy, okay. All right, and we'll see Gelthros, like I said, for 110, which is not uh, is it just is it just uh, no, he retreated, so yeah, 110. So, another energy going that guy, okay. But like I said, we have Lysander, Shaman, and that will oh no, it's actually not a knockout because we don't have oh my goodness, yeah, that's not going to be a knockout because we need poison. And there's a Shelmet, okay. So, I'm gonna do put down Shelmet, I'm gonna Lysander, bring up the Genesect, uh, DCE this guy, we will retreat. Into the Acelgore. And I think I'm going to deck and cover. And send the Stoutland without the Flowstone. Alright, so there we go. 50 damage, Poison Paralyze, whatever. And yeah, we're going to send the Stoutland without the Flowstone. I, I know it seems pretty crazy. But I don't want my Flowstone being discarded ASAP. I'm fine with my, my Stoutland taking a couple hits while we get set up. So there is a Ultra Ball and a Love Ball. Okay, that's pretty good cards. Because we can Love Ball get a Acelgore out. Ultra Ball get a Mew out. And then uh, let the Stoutland die. to Get knocked down in two turns. So there we go. Uh, go down to three prize cards. Okay. Here comes Shebe. Come to me, Shebe. Ultimate opponent's turn. Uh, once again, they can play Lysander. They can't do anything, so we're looking great, guys. Oh, my goodness. Who would have thought we would have taken... Okay. All right. So, next turn, we get another Stoutland out, which is pretty good. Like, Ultra Ball discard Jirachi Shaman, get Stoutland. There's another Genesect coming down, which is pretty bad. Rapid Blaster is what I'm scared of. Uh, but hopefully, we'll be able to keep this Wombo combo up. We need to get Masharna as well. There's a lot of stuff I want to get out. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, so Genesect getting a Metal Energy, okay. Metal Inks put a Metal Energy from their uh, discard pile into that Genesect, most likely. And will we see a Sky Return for 30 instead of Genesect? Um, that could happen. Oh, man. I got really just... Oh, man. All right, well, let's see what happens. So Metal Inks onto that guy. He can retreat and Rapid Blast for knockout with 20, 40, 60. Uh, but if he does that, we're definitely going to start uh, deck and cover. So, yeah, he's going to send it to Genesect. Take a knockout this turn. 20, 40, 60. Going out of five prize cards. But we can super rod uh, shuffle all those cards back to our deck. Uh, yeah, so see Rap Blaster for the knockout, okay? All right. And I'm actually A-OK -okay with this. I'm fine with him taking a knockout here. Uh, style like goes in discard pile, whatever. Uh, all right. So there's 140 damage. Take a knock on a portal style and take discard two metal energies. But guys, we're looking okay. As long as we find a DCE, we can take we can start uh we, we start being okay. So on our turn, what do we get? We get a Juniper, so I'm gonna Ultra Ball, um, discard the Jirachi and uh Shaman. With this, we'll get out of this, a Statland. Do we get out of Statland or do we just go for a Mew? Uh let's go for Mew right now. We'll grab Mew, okay. We'll put down Mew. We will level ball for an Aselgor. Alright, so let's grab a Selgor. Maybe get a deck cover off this turn, so let's grab Selgor. Uh put that down. Oh, maybe we should have grabbed Stoutland because we're gonna discard two red candy. Uh Super Rod, shovel back in. One, two. Let's put in Stoutland, Herder, and the Shaman. Alright, we'll put those three back in our deck. And we're gonna Juniper discard two rare candy. And let's see what can we find with this. Give me something good. There's a DC, a Shelmet. Okay, so we'll put down the Herder. Put down Burbank City Gym. Uh, put a DC on the Mew, <laughs> we will retreat, and we will go for a deck and cover for 50, uh, minus 20, 30, plus poison and 60 damage. All right, guys, so there we go. All right, so send up the uh, Herder with the Flowstone and everything like that. He could maybe knock us out this time. I mean, I highly doubt it. He needs a switch uh, for sure. Uh, that's Yeah, he mainly just needs a switch to knock us out. How many cards we have left? We have two VS Seekers, so we're still looking okay. We can't get Pewter Search, get out of this hold. Uh, put down Shelmets and be A-OK. -okay. I think we're fine, guys. Um, we just got to find... Okay, there's a Skyfall coming out. Bumper down Verbic City Jam, so we have plenty of Pokemon now. Uh, so what we could do is Shaman... Like, Shelmet to Shaman set up, and then hopefully draw some cards that way. So, we're actually fine with Skyfall coming down. Uh, so, Shaman coming down. I'm going to set up for two, okay? So, set up two, one, two. Okay, no, just one, all right? So, I guess the question is, does it play Switch? I, I highly doubt they play Switch. 
Um, the real question is, do they play Caldeo? That could be the real thing. So a uh, Hoopa coming down, going to use a Scoundrel again. Do they have Shaman in, or do they have Caldeo in the deck? If they have Caldeo, this is going to change everything. Like, literally going to change everything if this happens right now. So let's see. And there's a Scissor. Nope, none of that. Okay, that's great for us. All right. All right, so that's good thing. So Scissor coming down. Uh, the only thing about this is if we play down Verbeek City Gem, that the two Shamans are being bumped. So Metal Link's going to put Metal Energy from their discard pile. Oh, so that Scissor, most likely. There they go, okay. Alright guys, in our turn we'll put down uh, Shelmet, put down Shaman, set up four new guards. Uh, Alright, so things are looking good for us, so uh, another Metal Lynx. Is it weird that my opponent has 20, like less cards than us and they haven't been playing supporter cards? Is that, is that weird or is that, is that just me? Like, is that really strange? Um, like, they don't play supporter cards and they still have less cards in the deck than we. That's pretty funny. Alright, so another Metal Lynx is going to Shaman, okay, alright. Alright, so we'll probably see a pass from my opponent. Alright, okay, cool beans. Alright, so in our turn, what do we get? We get a Mew. So we'll put down Mew. We'll put down Shelmet. We'll put down Shaman. Set up four new cards. And we are golden, guys. Oh my goodness, I can't ask for a better hand. Alright, so there's a okay, VS Seeker Special Charge. We'll put down Masharna. We will um, forewarn. Look at the top two cards of our deck. We'll grab a uh, Floatstone. No, we're actually not going to grab anything. Oh, we had to grab at least one card. Yeah, so we'll grab Floatstone, okay. Uh, do we play, do we just, uh, let's see, so we need a, we need for sure a DC this turn. So I'm going to, computer search, discard special charge, and the lodestone, uh, let's discard Lysander, okay? Uh, we'll grab a DC for this turn. Alright, so grab DC, and do we just go for a regular Sky turn? I mean, another, uh, deck and cover, put a DC in this guy, we will treat, and yeah, I think I'm fine with just going for a deck and cover for, uh, Let's see, so four, five, nine, huh. All right, so let's see, if we go for, um, if we go for Verbing City Gem, we do six, seven, eight, nine, which is nine for knockout. All right, so right now I'm just gonna go for a deck and cover. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go five, I'm just deck cover right here. Uh, no 30, the resistance, whatever, 100 damage, right? So send up the stout lane, okay? Alright, and uh, 10 damage to poison, but we're still doing okay, like all we have to do is knock out a shaman, which is weird to say, like all we have to do is knock out a shaman, but that is pretty easy to do, uh, 70 HP left, so let's see, if we get down Mew, DZ, Verbank, that's 3, 6, and that's a knockout, because he has 60 HP left, or, man, yeah, that's, yeah, that's not gonna be enough, oh man, if we had fight, if we had muscle man, that could make the math perfect to make a knockout back to our turn. Oh, well, all right, so uh, let's see what else it does, because, yeah, if we had Muscle Man, that'd be perfect numbers to take a knockout next time if we found a DCE. Uh, Flow Stone, going down to the, the Drive Change Genesect, which you don't care about too much, like, it's not a fighting you belt, so Drive Change, put in the uh, Muscle Man, Flow Stone back into their hand. All right, I guess they're having some fun here. Uh, but next turn, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to put on Mew and Course, like, we're going to get a Course of a ton of cards. Uh, it's a Flow Stone going down to the Hoopa, okay? How many VS, okay, so two Lysons have played, two VS Seekers, all right. So in our turn, what do we get? We get a DCE, so put down Mew, put down DCE, and we are going to be a seeker for a chorus. Oh my goodness, we're about to chorus for a ton of cards. Alrighty guys, so let's chorus. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Alright, so Verbic City Jam, we got a Selgor, we'll put that guy down, uh, we'll put down Mew. And next turn, okay, so let's see, uh, we get 3, 4, 5, Actually, no, no. Okay, so, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. We could put down Verbic City Jam, but my opponent's going to knock out their Shamans, which we don't want to happen. Um, See, I'm just going to retreat into Mew. Go for Duck and Cover. Uh, let's let's four one first. Look at our, hey, look at our cards. There's a uh, Flow Stone. We'll grab that. And, yeah, we'll just go for a uh, Duck and Cover. All right, so let's go for Duck and Cover. Taking a knockout. All right, there we go. 30 HP. We're not taking a knockout yet. That... That dang resistance. Alright, so there we go. Take a 10 more damage. Like, oh my goodness. If we had muscle band, we actually take a knockout coming back in our turn. Oh, uh, but we don't. Alright, no, I actually take a knockout right now because 20 HP left will be a knockout, but whatever. Oh man. Alright, so pass. Okay, on to our turn. I think we'll just pass right here. So on our turn, we get a Mew. We'll put down Mew. Uh, put down Stalin. Don't know why I didn't do that last turn. Put down Shelmet. And yeah, I'm just going to pass for the knockout, so we're press done. And we can win next turn, guys. We have the win on board, so oh my goodness. We have, we have, 
<laughs> we have 16 Pokemon on the field currently. So what we can do next turn is we can Blast and Restrain. We take a knockout. Um, actually, we don't take a knockout. Five, yeah, we don't take a knockout, but Hoopa comes, all right? Uh, but we're just license for shame and put down Verbic City Jam and uh, win in two turns. Can we knock out anybody? No, the max we can do is 80 next turn, which doesn't knock out anybody. Doesn't knock out Bronzone, doesn't knock out Shaman. Um, we can do 130 to Hoopa. That seems pretty cool. But Bona is going to take a knockout this turn. That'd be the first, their second knockout of the game. So here comes Scizor. We'll see a Gelthrust for the knockout. But I mean, besides that, we pretty much won this game. Like, our opponent really can't do anything. We're going to be a secret for Lysander and bring up a Shaman. Uh, Metal Link's going to put a Metal Gear on somebody. But it does not matter, guys. We have the game. And Stoutland, Masharna, Selgor, Mew will take a victory. Even though we played against a deck that had resistance and everything like that, we still took it down. Oh my goodness, this game was so long. 19 minutes to take, a, uh, to take the win. All right, guys. So good at a four price cards, but we'll sit up Stout Land, and we're good to go. My opponent has 18 cards left in the deck, and they didn't even play a supporter card. That's still really funny to me. I'll put a Fuzz on the active. We will put a uh, DC on this guy. We will via Seeker for a Lysander. We're going to bring up that uh, Shaman EX. Come to me, Shea All right, so Shaman coming up. We'll put down uh... Now let's just retreat and go for deck and cover. Now this is a Verbic City Gem. Whatever, YOLO. Uh, Verbic City Gem. All right. We are discard. He's got discard down to five. We got discard down to five as well, and we are looking good now, guys. I believe in us. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. I guess we should put on. I know we don't need no. We don't need no other uh, Stalin. We're good to go. So Shaman being discarded, Hooper probably being discarded, and that's their five. So discard Shaman. Discard Shelmets. All right, and we are going to uh, deck and cover. For 80 damage in it. When he passes, if they pass, if they don't put down stadium, we'll win automatically. So let's set up Southland and let's see what happens. It doesn't want to have a switch or not. Is my question of poison taking 30 damage? All right, guys. So own my opponent's turn. If they pass that stream, we'll get knocked out. Come back into our turn. Uh, unless they have another Skyfield. Um, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cards in their hand. But I wonder how many are supporter cards. That's my real question. All right. So there is a super rod. Gonna shuffle three combination of Pokemon and introduce back into your deck, which does not matter. As long as they, uh, as long as they don't have a switch. So, Genesect, Genesect, and then Mew. All right. We played four Via Seekers or two Lysanders, okay? All right. And, uh, if we don't see a Skyfield, we win. If we don't see, I mean, even when you see a Skyfield, and there we go, Vintage Screen coming down from the side of the field, he realized that he cannot win this game. And there you go, guys. There is the Stoutland, a Selgor, Mew, a Dak. Oh, my goodness. That was a lot to play, but we did it. Uh, let's look at our opponent's deck real quick. And did they play Switch or not? And nope, no Switch. One Zerosic, they didn't even play Megaphone, so they can never get rid of our tools as well. And guys, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching the episode of Fan Friday, this Stoutland, a Selgor, Mashana. Crazy deck. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright, guys. I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.